Oh, hi. Hi, Richard Green. Welcome to Batsy Training Centre, Warrington. More training Tuesday tips coming up. You need to stay. Recently, I've been having a few discussions with installers who've been asking on some of these 600, 800 range of boilers why the red hole effect sensor light is only half lit and flickering. Here's a possible cause. On both our historic and current product range, we've used hall effect sensors. A bobbin type and a turbine type, which can be easily identified by looking at the sensor mechanism. Clear plastic, as shown here, is on bobbin type. Red plastic, as shown, is on turbine type. A bobbin type Hall Effect Sensor, which we have utilised for many years on the Baxi Duratec, Platinum and Pro Maxes. On the 600 and 800 range of boilers, we are using a red plastic cap to identify the fact that this is not a bobbin type flow switch, it is a Hall Effect Sensor turbine. It works on rotation rather than lift. As we look at the assembly, we have here a filter, which you take off. We've got a flow regulator, flow regulator, we have a second filter, and the main assembly inside basically consists of a platform with a little pin on the top here to hold uh, the bottom of the turbine in position and the cap here at the top is anchored inside so as water goes through it rotates it rotates the cap and instead of getting a magnetic constant magnetic field we're getting a, a pulse blip 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 as the wheel of the turbine turns around put a hot water demand on by turning on a hot tap if you look inside the unit you will see that the Hall Effect Sensor light is solid state bright red. This would indicate the hot and cold pipe work is correct. Cold on cold, hot on the hot water outlet. If, however, this light is partially illuminated, very dim or flickering like a bad connection effect, then this may indicate that the hot water and cold water pipes are inadvertently crossed. We can also see that the tap icon on the display is not indicating hot water demand. Easy to check, just simply put your hand on the cold water mains and if it's warming up during a hot water demand, the pipe work is the wrong way around. Right, so, I hope you found that tip useful uh, and stay tuned for more news views and how to do's Back to training Tuesdays. Take care. Till next time. Be safe.